Hello everyone and welcome to what is a very unplanned and spontaneous video. Now last minute I got hold of this, let's be honest, what is a quite frankly beautiful car. This is the Alfa Romeo Quadrifoglio in this incredible colour. Now the first time I saw this colour it really does just look like a special blue but up close it, in the light it really looks purple at some point as well. I'm not sure how the colour is going to come across on camera but up close if you ever get a chance take a closer look at this color because it's really stunning but this car from Alfa Romeo very spontaneously for the rest of this week however I don't have the whole week free to film it so today I've got a couple of hours and tomorrow I've got a couple of hours and rather than just try and cram everything in now I thought basically I would just vlog over the two days that I'm going to be driving it mostly and yeah to share my experience with you all Okay, let's go for my first driving this on a mountain road, a twisty road. So for me personally, I never feel like I've test driven a car until I've taken on a mountain pass and then I really get to know the car. But really my first impressions of this car, apart from the sound, it sounds absolutely mad. It's just, I love this car considering the price. Now I've seen, oh, radios come on. Sorry, I don't know why that's happened. Um, now I've seen a few for sale with like, I don't know, 5,000 kilometers on, pretty much brand new for around 70,000. And I think it's just so well priced, this car. Now, a few people call this car the M3 killer, and I don't know if it is an M3 killer or not. I'm sure there's um, a lot of BMW enthusiasts that will disagree with that, but this car is absolutely bonkers. <laughs> Now about the sound, so at the moment I've got it in manual and in dynamic. Now some of you will know this already and some of you not. To get the full sound so the exhaust is open all the time, you need to put it in race mode like this. So you hold it up, okay now it's in race mode and now the exhaust is now the exhaust is open constantly. Now that's all good but when it's in race mode that also means all the electronics are off nothing so we've just got the abs and that's it you are all by yourself and i can tell you one thing this car is quite a handful you need to be careful in this especially with the electronics off oh tunnel picked the car up from the Alpha Garage he said to me in th this area of Switzerland alone they had around 20 crashes with this car as in like the car was written off now that's quite a lot of crashes with uh, a certain type of car in a small area the problem is people really wanted the full sound so they put it in race mode and they would go around the corner and forget for a second that they're not Lewis Hamilton which we've all been guilty of at some point and yeah crashed the car so you do really really need to take care what i love about alpha is they've really concentrated on what's important the steering wheel is standing you've got alcantara at the top there's carbon down here the seating position you are sat on the floor like you should be in a sports car these seats look incredible they're all carbon at the back and they are so comfortable and you just feel planted you really feel like 
you're in something special. When you drive this, you do get that, that sense of occasion. I can't afford a car at the moment, that's a fact. And if I do, or when I do eventually buy a car one day, of course it will be with finance, that's just reality. Now, when you buy a car with finance, you still need like around a 10% deposit. And I can't even afford that at the moment. That is, you know, still quite a lot of money. If everything goes well for me the next year, my channel grows and I hope I can own a car one day again. I would love to have an official Cars with Luke car where I could tune it and, you know, everybody would know buy that car. I would totally think about getting this car because I think realistically for the money on finance, it might be a car that I could just about to afford to pay off monthly in the future, like I said, if everything goes well. Recently, I've become a bit obsessed with Italian things. I just love Italian things. Their coffee, the food, the cars, the country is absolutely beautiful. It's just so many good things about it. And when you drive a beautiful Italian car, I love the reaction it gets from people. It's a special reaction. So I'm more or less at the top of the Grimsel Pass at the moment. It was a bit rushed for time today, got it quite late and the sun's already going down. It's gonna be dark pretty soon. But before it goes dark, what I have got with me is a brand new drone. I've got the DJI Phantom 4 Pro, which I'm dying to use now. I had to max out my credit card to buy this the other day, but I see it as hopefully an investment into my channel. I'm gonna get out and use it for the first time. And I'm really interested to see how much better the quality is with the Pro compared to the Phantom 4. So here it is, brand new drone. Excited for the first flight. So now unfortunately I've got to head off to work which is a shame because I would love to keep on driving this for the rest of the day. But I will have this exact car again in October for a couple of weeks which will give me a lot more time to go exploring some really cool mountain passes with it. I really would get this car if I could. I can't but if I could I would get one. Just a little heads up on my next video. This Sunday I might be filming one of my dream cars so keep your eye on my Instagram for that. Hopefully the video will come together and my next video should be something pretty cool. You can't tell me nothing. Uh-uh, you can't tell me nothing. You can't tell me nothing. Uh-uh, you can't tell me nothing. nothing.